Welcome to the SACCORD SpaceTrack database browsing tutorial. In this tutorial I'll explain a bit about what the SpaceTrack database is, how you can set up a SpaceTrack database in SACCORD, and show you the kind of information you can retrieve from this database. SpaceTrack.org promotes space flight safety, protection of the space environment and the peaceful use of space worldwide by sharing space situation awareness services and information. You can find out more information about Spacetrack by visiting the website. A link is provided in the description below this video. The first step in using the Spacetrack database in SACCORD is to create the database. To either create a new Spacetrack database or to update an existing database, we need to click on the Tools menu item and select Options from the drop-down menu. From the Options tab, choose the Browse Database Options and then enter your Spacetrack username and password, which you can obtain from signing up at the Spacetrack.org website. Once you've entered your username and password, press the Update Spacetrack Database button. This will retrieve all objects in the Spacetrack satellite catalogue of the payload type, of which there are over 7,500 objects. SACCORD will then retrieve the latest two-line element set, or TLE for short, associated with each of these objects, if there is one. The TLE is a set of data listing orbital elements that describe the state, both position and velocity, of an Earth orbiting object. Now once we have updated the database we can go to Browse and then Real World Satellite Information and then Space Track Database and this will open a new Space Track Database browsing tab from which we can investigate the database. On the right hand side of the screen are a number of searches giving us data from the database including satellite catalogue information and two line element information. You can get more information on a particular search by selecting it and then pressing the F1 key. For example here we can see the help associated with the NORAD number search. You can see its default name, its default location in the search tree, the table and field name of this search in the Spacetrack database, the format of the field, and a description of the field. For this tutorial, I'm going to do a country search on the database, and it will show me all of the countries which currently have payload objects listed in the Spacetrack satellite catalogue. I can then pick a particular country, for example the UK, and then perform further searches to retrieve more detailed information on the database entries associated with the UK. For example, I can do the satellite name search on the UK to see what satellite name data there is associated with the UK. We can see that there are a number of different operational satellite names associated with the UK. If you click on the TLE Analysis button on the toolbar, it will launch a new TLE Analysis tab which shows us all of the information that can be derived from the TLE dataset associated with this particular satellite network. For more information on the TLE Analysis, please view our TLE Analysis tutorial. A link is provided in the description below this video. This ends the Spacetrack database browsing tutorial. If you have any questions, please contact us using the information in the description below.